Hey guys, it's Danielle and I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the best way to attract painted buntings. So a painted bunting's favorite feeder is a cage tube feeder. So that's just your standard tube feeder with perches that has a cage around it. And the reason we recommend putting a cage around your tube feeder is because painted buntings are really shy and um, a little timid to come to the feeders. They don't like to compete with the larger birds. So if you put your tube feeder in a cage, they can eat uh, nice and peacefully in there. So that's the best feeder. The food they really like to eat is the white millet seed and we recommend that you use white millet straight in your feeder, um, not a blend that contains the white millet, though you can do that if you want, but just the best case scenario would be putting that cage tube feeder with millet only. So as I mentioned, the painted buntings are kind of shy to come to the feeder. And so it's ideal to put your feeder farther away from your other feeders and your house, which is kind of a bummer because it makes it a little harder to see them. But um, if you put it up closer to your house, your um, chances of attracting them are not as good. So we do recommend putting the feeder farther away from your house. Um, they also like heavy brush like brushy areas to hide out in so if you have a heavy bush line tree line if you back up to woods or anything like that that would be your best option and our customers that live on or near the marsh definitely attract the painted buntings faster than those that don't um, however we just had a really uh, nice guy that follows us on Facebook he told us that um, he lives in Park Circle in North Charleston and he was getting painted buntings to his feeder. So um, none of these things are, they're, um, they're the rules, but there's plenty of exceptions. So um, we're out here in Shadow Moss in West Ashley and this is, this is our house and that's our painted bunting feeder. And so as you can see, we've put our painted bunting feeder on our fence way far away from our house and we back up to woods so we have the feeder hanging over our fence against the woods and um, we were kind of late putting our bunting feeder up this year and we hadn't seen any but we hadn't put our feeder up and so we put our feeder up and no kidding y'all it was about four days later and we had our first male painted bunting in the feeder that we saw so i was actually able to get a little video of him i'm a little upset that he is so far away i would love it if this feeder was a little closer i have to really watch them with my binoculars they're gonna force me to buy a bigger lens for my camera so i can video them and stuff like that more but um yeah no painted buntings to so we put our cage tube feeder up and we hear that from a lot of customers. So not saying that you can't attract them any other way or with any other feeder or any other placement, but um, this is just what we recommend and what we've heard from most people is most successful. So um, painted buntings are here until about October. It's not too late to put your bunting feeder up. Um, once they're done having babies and all that, there'll be a little more activity. So put your cage tube feeder up, fill it with millet, and hopefully you'll get some painted buntings. Thanks guys.